I bet if you check out your air system in your facility right now, chances are you're going to find an air system and the header pipe is going to run along the top of the ceiling. They're not looped and they're just stick systems that run down like this. It's going to have a leg come down and it's going to have some type of a T. You'll be drawing air off there for your tool or your filter. You may or may not have a little petcock there to drain a little bit of that condensation or rust and debris out of there. What generally happens if any water condenses in your air piping, which it always does, the only spot for that water to go is right down this pipe, right through this, right into your filter or right into your tool. Materials commonly used for airline piping, copper, aluminum, galvanized, black, and never ever use PVC or plastic pipe. Having a system that's properly looped, so your main header line that runs around your system should be in a loop. You'd want as large a diameter as practical, so you're feeding air evenly from your compressor out both sides. So you've got a loop system for your header. You still use a drip leg like this here with an automatic drain. So if there's any water in your pipes as that air is flowing downstream, that water is going to run down on this drip leg, and the only thing that's going to happen is the automatic tank drain is going to take that condensation, that water, out downstream of there, you're going to put a riser pipe. You're going to come up in the air at least six inches high and it's really hard for air to entrain water and have it flow uphill. So as that air is flowing uphill, it's going to come back down here. You go to your tool or to your uh, quick connect. Come down here, you have a little sediment trap where you can collect some additional sediment that may make it through. The idea here is it's really hard for water to run uphill and this makes it an easy path for water to run downhill. First thing you want to do is on your air compressors, you want to put an automatic tank drain. That automatic tank drain will assure that your compressor stays free of moisture on a continual basis. Many times when you go out and check compressors, and I bet if you go check your compressor, if you go to drain it, you're going to find quite a bit of water in the bottom of your compressor. Well, that robs you from the air that's supposed to be in there. It'll rust and corrode your tank and you always get carryover of that moisture going downstream. So number one is you always want to put an automatic tank drain on your compressor. Second, you want to install a regulator right downstream of your tank on your compressor. You want to set this regulator so you're only using the amount of air that's really required in your shop. If your compressor has 150 PSI and you can set your regulator at 110 PSI, or your tools out at the end of the line, they only need 90 PSI, that's an efficient way to run your system. 20% of all the air used in the world is used because of leaks in your system. So the lower the air pressure you keep in your system, the less amount of leaks you're gonna have and the less amount of wasted air.